Um, I have a video of Michael Irving that was... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Damn. Fucking wind. Ow. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I'm going to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I am back here at the Man Cave. We will be doing the live stream here at 9 o'clock, and I just want to do I've been on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. And i uh, been on the road, and then I saw the announcement that Russell Wilson – will not be part of the Denver Broncos. And this may go down as the worst trade since the Herschel Walker trade. This is incredible when you look at the numbers. And I want to go over this with you guys real quick because this has direct bearing on the, the Cowboys because this hurts the team. I mean, this really hurts because you think of the draft compensation that they gave up to get Russell Wilson as well as the players, now they're going to be paying for this for the next two years. Now, this is the assumption of what's going to transpire. And the reason why, you know, people are like, why are you talking about this? Well, you know, some Cowboy fans will say, well, maybe we should cut Dak and just sign Russell Wilson because we can get him on the cheap since the Denver Broncos are, are pay, you know, paying him. But be that as it may for the haters, let's read here exactly what Over the Cap is saying. The Denver Broncos made it official today, announcing the decision to part ways with Russell Wilson just two years after making him highly publicized trade for him and subsequently signing him to a massive contract extension. The release comes as no surprise as we had speculated on the possibility just a few months after he, was si after he signed the five-year $245 million contract extension with the Broncos. It was clear by the end of the 23 season that they did not envision a future with Wilson. The dead money associated with this contract is gigantic. The $85 million in dead money dwarfs the prior high of $40 million that came from Matt Ryan with the Falcons, as well as Ryan's NFL leading career total of $58 million. Yeah, because he got dead money for the Colts as well as dead money uh, from, of course, Atlanta. The Broncos still owe Russell Wilson $39 million in cash salary. So far away, um, the most any team has ever owed a player they cut. It's unbelievable. I think uh, Carson Wentz was 32. Um, cutting him does allow the team to avoid another $37 million of being fully guaranteed. The Broncos will need to utilize the post-June 1st salary designation for Wilson. By <clears throat> doing this, the team will <coughs> keep its cap number of $35.4 million until June 2nd. But the cap treatment after that is based on whether or not they picked up the option prior to his release. I am murky on the rules of the June 1st of the same year after picking up the option, but assuming that is allowed, he should count for $35.4 million on the cap in 2024 and then $49.6 million in 2025. If they renounce the option... His cap number, I believe, would be fifty-three million in twenty-four, and then thirty-two million in twenty twenty-five. Still, that's crazy. So basically, you're kind of reversing the numbers um, if it if you pick up the auction, basically. So you can basically say thirty-five this year or fifty-three this year, or and, and the reverse of that would be forty-nine the next year or thirty-two. So you have to look at it by where you are as far as your stack. This trade would likely go down in history as the worst trade since the Herschel Walker trade and a contract will arguably be looked as one of the worst, if not the worst of all time. I'm going to say that Deshaun Watson still has a chance to be the worst one. I'm just saying. Had the Broncos followed the Rams model with Matthew Stafford of try before you buy, they would have paid Wilson $24 million in 22 and moved on in 23 with no other damage. Instead, Wilson earned $124 million from the Broncos, who rushed an extension the summer of the trade. Wow. 
Wilson's $39 million salary does have offsets, but there are no incentives for any team to offer Wilson more than a league minimum of $1.21 million, since they would be doing so uh, is paying the Broncos. There are ways around the offset. No longer-term contract was willing since – there are ways around the offsets on a no longer contract as if a team was willing to do a two-year deal with Wilson and Ty future guaranteed escalators. So there you have it. They are screwed. So if I look at this, I don't know if they've had it. the Broncos. Let's see what the Broncos look like right now. Right now they are at negative 16. Um, post June first, so that is you know, that re- really doesn't change because basically it it'll change if they do the offset. Um, his cap number basically they're still going to pay the cap number, so there's still 16 million in the hole, and the next year they're either going to take a 54 million or a 32 million dollar dead hit, which really sucks. Now, here's the thing for the Cowboys. Here's where the reason I bring this up is because right now we have a voidable year with Dak Prescott that is $36 million sitting there already. Some people will say, well, the Cowboys, they don't have to do Dak Prescott's contract. No, you don't. You you actually don't. You could pay him the $59 million this year and let him walk at the end of next year. Um I'm mean, assuming at the end of the season, and still have 36 million. So you're still looking at paying um, 60, uh, 95 million dollars for the next two years for Dak. Now you could go ahead and restructure and move 20 million dollars to avoidable year, but then the thing is, is you pay, you know, uh, 39 million this year, but then you've got a problem of. 56 next year so and then you've got of course is trey lance or cooper rush the guy because that could be the situation now the other point of bringing this up is this also lets you know as well michael gallup now they said they have made a decision on michael gallup here's the thing and just like with russell wilson they didn't want to take that dead hit but the thing is is if they don't take it now You're going to pay this year, and then you got another 37 next year on top of it. So at some point, you have to look at it and say, it's better for us to go ahead and get rid of Michael Gallup now, make him a post-June 1st cut, get that money spread out over two years, and be done with it. Otherwise, you're going to pay $13 million this year, and then you still have to deal with cutting him next year at that same $13 million. And if you don't believe that he is going to really be able to help you or do more than 424 yards in receptions, then you really need to look at moving on. So that's where we are as far as Michael Gallup. And that is just crazy. $85 million in dead money. Yeah. But the Cowboys, you know, they could cut Dak. And sign Russell Wilson. What do you think about that one? All right, good people. We'll definitely be talking about this more in about an hour and a half for our live stream. And I hope to see you there. Remember, 